Hey loves, and welcome to Heart to Heart Love Messages. My name is Crystal. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. If you are already subscribed here, welcome back. So tonight I have a very urgent message for the Divine Feminine. Please keep in mind that these messages may or may not resonate with everyone. So just take the messages that resonate and leave the ones that do not, okay? I'm picking up on a feminine energy that has recently been suffering in silence. There's something that you're feeling. There's this certain heaviness that's coming through within your energy. And this may have you feeling very, very uncomfortable because this is not your natural disposition. You are someone who is exceptionally radiant. You have a very positive spirit. You are someone who is very, very spiritually inclined. You understand that your mental capacity is literally creating your physical reality. You are someone who literally is tuned into the frequency of the universe. But lately, for some reason, you feel a little bit off. You feel like you're going through something and you really don't understand or you really don't even have you know, the tools to kind of put this into words, to translate what it is that your soul is trying to translate at this time. And your guides want you to know, Divine Feminine, that you are stepping into a powerful season of vindication, that you are under right now a massive purge of literally every single thing that you have been through in your life that was not in alignment with who you truly were. And you're also being guided to sit back, look at every single thing that you have encountered, and to actually thank those people that have tried to harm you, those people that have played a part in your demise, the people that wish bad on you, your guides want you to know that they have absolutely no idea who you are. You're absolutely aligning with this energy of divine prosperity simply because of who you are, simply because of your capacity to love and to navigate life in such a way that is in alignment with divine principle. OK, there are many, many times where you could have returned energy. And instead of that, you went deep within. You said a prayer. You cleansed your energy. OK, you've tried so hard to navigate and to live your life in a certain way. And this is really, really working for your benefit. But as we're really stepping into this new energy really purging and leaving behind the past in a major, major way. So for a lot of you, you have been under a lot of cyclic themes that really had nothing to do with you. You see, when we come into this realm, this physical realm, you have to understand that every single person is playing a role. There will be people that you align with that are here to help you navigate this journey, that are here to shed light on the dark places, that are here to ultimately guide you and hold your hand into leading you to your destiny, your purpose, your birthright. And then there are people that are here that play the role of being mere distractions okay, that play the role of showing you that this is really a spiritual experience, okay? We have these physical vessels, but this is spiritual. This is mental. And so this feminine that I'm picking up on, you have absolutely aligned with people on your journey that may have pulled you into a place and shown you some not very good sides of life, some really unsavory kind of energies here that I'm tapping into. And you've actually held on to this. This may have even shaped your reality a bit where you don't approach situations the same way. Maybe you're a little guarded in love. Maybe you're a little apprehensive. And what you have to understand is there's a clear separation happening. 
where there is this energy of love and there's this energy of fear, okay? And this can really, really manifest in many, many different ways. Your energy, Divine Feminine, is so pure and so radiant and so high vibrational that you really have this ability to magnetize things towards you. And being the divine feminine, you will encounter many, many people on your journey who simply wish to be in your company, who want to feel that radiance, who want to feel your warmth, who want to get a glimpse of your world. And because you have this heart that is just so massive, okay, even if you appear, a lot of you have no idea how people view you from the outside looking in. A lot of you may appear to have everything together. A lot of you are very sharp, okay? You are very assertive. You are very bold, very outgoing, charismatic, okay? But your heart space is massive, and when you align with certain people, you seek to see the best in these people. But that hasn't always landed you in the best experiences in life, right? But you're at this place where you're absolutely becoming free. And that's because as you navigate through this stage, through this very specific stage in your life, your guides are pushing you to purge, to purge those parts of you that are still embedded deep within you. Maybe from that ex person, that ex friend, that ex lover, you know, any energies that you come in contact with have the ability to really alter your destiny by being a distraction, by making you lean more towards fear instead of basking in the divine energy of love by chipping away at your confidence level, by making you kind of assume this energy of expecting the worst in life, in love, in business, in opportunity, in prosperity. You have to understand that in this physical realm, everything is mental. And anything that has the potential to get inside of your mind has the ability to alter how you walk this life. And so if you're feeling this heaviness, Divine Feminine, if you feel like, you know, recently you just haven't been feeling like yourself, you're usually really upbeat, you're usually really, really optimistic, a lot of these energies that are coming to the surface, this heaviness, this fear of uncertainty, you know, this lack of taking initiative, a lot of these energies are not even yours. These are energies that you have come in contact with on your journey. Maybe they're attached to people that you absolutely love, okay? But they're affecting how you show up. And so if you're feeling this, allow it to release. Really go back to like the genesis of that emotion and identify the first time that you felt that. Because we come into this realm feeling love. We come into this realm trusting. We come into this realm feeling magical as if we are powerful and we can manifest anything that we want. And as we align with people, we are so impressionable that there are seeds that are dropped into our subconscious that over time literally shapes us and molds us into people that are sometimes unrecognizable. And so at this time, your guides really want you to purge this. If you're feeling like crazy emotions coming up, this is exactly what's happening right now because you're stepping into prosperity. You're also being vindicated. Okay, you're stepping into a powerful season of vindication where you actually don't have to do anything. These energies are coming up to be removed, divine feminine. Okay, and every single thing will make sense. God is literally taking this time to clear out your path, 
kind of trying to lift you up to get a higher perspective, to remember who you are, but also more importantly, to see the people around you clearly and for who they actually are. On this journey, we will align with people who literally have this ability to help us see the best parts of ourselves. And then we will align with people who kind of challenge that, who tap more into that lower energy, who lead us to a path of distraction, okay? But where you are right now, your guides are actually wanting you to thank every single person that aligned with you, that either wanted to wish you bad, okay, that, you know, caused some type of drama in your life, caused you some type of pain or strife. You've learned so much from these people. You've learned, you know, how to navigate life. You've learned, you've learned what to avoid in your life. You've learned how to really transmute this energy. This divine feminine I'm tapping into, you are a transmuter, okay? Everything that was literally thrown to you, you somehow turned it into gold. You somehow still navigated your journey in a way that your spiritual team is just so proud of you and really, really want to place you on this path, open up your path and clear this road for you to go towards every single thing that you are here to have, okay? And this blockage of energy really, really needs to come out. It really, really needs to come out, okay? Because this is not your natural disposition. You are someone who is extremely beautiful, externally as well as internally, and you deserve to have a powerful life you deserve to have a beautiful life that is full of love, that is full of prosperity, where you get to really enjoy your time here. You get to really experience what this life is all about. And you get to share your love with the people around you who really, really deserve that. There's something here also about reciprocity. That could be a big thing for you. I'm getting that where you pour so much into people and oftentimes you feel depleted, not even realizing why, Divine Feminine. You are a constant flow. Your energy is like water. It has to flow in order for you to feel balanced. And anytime your energy gets stuck, it leaves you feeling confused. It leaves you feeling depleted as if you're overexerting yourself, overworking yourself, overexplaining. That's not your natural disposition. And so when it comes to reciprocity, you're being guided to only pour into people who equally pour into you. That way your flow is constant, okay? And so you're also being guided to really, really take inventory and to see how much of your time, your energy, and your space at this stage of your life that you're able to allocate because I'm getting that that's shifting for you. I'm feeling like you're really wanting to pour more into yourself. You're really spending sacred time with yourself and learning yourself inside out. You're absolutely shedding skin. And this is such a cyclic theme. This is something that you never stop doing on this journey. And so it's kind of like you're, you're getting this higher perspective where you're able to see every single person clearly. And I mean down to their soul where you know exactly how to navigate these relationships with people. You know who you can be real and absolutely raw with. You know who you can't do that with. You know who you can have spiritual conversation with. You know who you can have surface conversation with. This is about being very logical, okay, about how you live life and also very, very intentional so that it works out for you and it works for your benefit. Because all of that heaviness that you have been feeling is literally the things that you have picked up on your journey, the things that you have learned from other people's energies. 
and you've somehow mistaken them for your own. A lot of you have aligned with people on your journey where your destinies have become enmeshed. And if, especially if you're in this place where you feel like you have been going through just a lot of misfortunate things, you have been out of alignment, you keep going through cyclic things, it's kind of like a loop. Maybe the, the city is different, maybe the people are different, but it's the same kind of underlying energy. This is because you've aligned with people on your journey and you've meshed with them. And anytime you decide to come in contact with a person, you unknowingly or unconsciously sign a contract, a soul contract with this person and you become enmeshed with them. And so whatever it is that they have on their path and whatever it is that you have on your path becomes enmeshed. And if this is someone that is not operating from a place of your highest good, it can really lead you to a path of destruction. But where you are right now, Divine Feminine, I feel like you have come into this awareness. You've come into your power. You have come into the truth about who you are and the truth about why you are here. And so some of you have been asking some very, very powerful questions, questions that you wouldn't dare ask in the past. Maybe you were very, very passive about your life. Maybe you allow certain things to happen and you did not question them. You're no longer in this energy. Your energy is coming through very, very assertive, where anything that has been really sitting on your heart space and making you feel a certain type of way, you're unpacking it. You're unpacking it. Some of you may not even realize that you're doing this because I'm getting heavy emotion. You may be crying a lot. Okay, your sleep pattern may be off a little bit here. This is because you are purging on a cellular level. And your life will never, ever be the same. Okay, and this is because you're stepping into divine gratitude for every single thing that has happened to you. Not placing blame, not placing judgment, just total acceptance of your role and the roles that other people play on your journey, but having a deeper understanding of why it had to happen in the way that it happened, okay? So you're at this place right now, Divine Feminine, where you are absolutely being vindicated, especially for those things that you have journeyed through that nobody else knows, but God knows. You're also stepping into this powerful time where you are going to begin to realize how much you are loved, how much God loves you, despite anything that you have been through, despite any type of challenge that you have faced, anything that has made you feel shame, made you feel doubt. None of these things matters when it comes to how much you are loved and how much you are protected in the spiritual realm. A lot of these tactics that came from other people were to place you in a position of fear, were to make you kind of hide and make you feel like you were not good enough. But that's not your natural disposition. You are powerful feminine energy. You are a nurturer. You are empathic. These are powerful, powerful qualities. For you to be able to feel at the level that you're able to feel is a beautiful, beautiful trait. And a lot of times you are placed in this position where you are absolutely forging your own path. A lot of you have been suffering because you're looking for someone to kind of show you this way, but you are the leader, okay? You are forging this path. You had to go through these lessons in order for you to be able to understand exactly what it means to be navigating in this time and space. And so don't ever think that your life is in vain. Don't ever think that the situations that you had to go through define you. They absolutely do not. You are beautiful. You are powerful. You are prosperous. There is abundance all around you. And the minute that you start to really identify how much love and support is around you, you give the universe and you give God 
the go ahead to bless you with more. So anything that you have lost on this journey, doesn't matter if it's people, jobs, position, material possessions, you have to think of those those things from a higher perspective. God has to remove things from your life in order to bring bigger and better. So anything that you felt like you've lost divine feminine is coming back multiplied at this time. Like this feminine that I'm tapping into, you really, really need to thank the people that you have encountered. You need to look at these situations from a place of gratitude because you are so, so, so blessed. Okay. And your life is about to be a reflection of that. So this is for the divine feminine that has been suffering in silence, that has been feeling like there's something deep, deep within you that's been trying to be, you know, translated or communicated. And for some reason, there may be no words to identify what this is. That's absolutely energy that has been stuck within you, things that you have picked up along the way that you assume to be yours. It's not. It's being released from you on a cellular level so that you can assume your natural position as a powerful co-creator. And so you can really align with this prosperity that God has for you. Because this year here is going to be extremely powerful. But you definitely have to watch how you mesh with people. With you now having this understanding. I'm also getting something about spiritual downloads. About you receiving your own personal downloads. And this is going to be very specific to you. It may not make sense to anybody else. But I'm getting that you have your own way in which you communicate with the Most High and how the universe sends you signs and sinks and maybe dreams or maybe visions, okay? So definitely take the time to tap in to the unseen realm, to the spiritual realm, to be fed because God is actually revealing your next step to you. And this is going to be very, very specific, I'm getting, okay? So it's very imperative for you to fit this time into your day. Because you're forging a path that maybe you've seen nobody else do in your life before. So this will be new to you. And it's always, you know, a little scary to step into the unknown. But you have powerful, powerful energy and protection from the spiritual realm, helping you every single step of the way, okay? So this next stage of your life, you are really, really stepping into a season of vindication where your true identity is being revealed, where every single thing that is for you is coming towards you and every single thing that is not for you will be leaving you at a very, very rapid rate. So allow this to happen, but also remember to love on yourself. Make sure that you're nourishing yourself. Make yourself a priority in this season, Divine Feminine. And every single other person, place, or thing that has you as a priority will be literally magnetized towards you. This is your power. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and end the reading here. If you resonated with this message, be sure to hit the like button on the way out. If you have not already, be sure to subscribe to the channel and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.